Hello everyone. So here I am, Dr. Supriya Patel Ganeshwari, a general dentist with prime focus on children's dentistry, cosmetic dentistry and a smile consultant. Today I bring to you a topic on baby bottle decay. is one of the most common conditions seen in infants and very young children. It is considered to be a silent enemy, also known as nursing caries or early childhood caries. The main reason for this kind of decay is prolonged exposure and frequent exposure of the baby's teeth to sweetened liquids, uh, juices or for that matter even milk. That is, if you are feeding frequently and for extended periods of time to your kid, then he may be prone to get this decay. This implies to infants greater than 6 to 8 months old. Many a times parents ask me, we do not give sweetened milk to our kid, we just give plain milk. So will my child's teeth be affected? The answer to this is allowed yes. Milk contains lactose which is a natural sugar. So even if you do not add sugar in the milk, your child's teeth will get affected. An example of prolonged feeding pattern is when a baby goes off to sleep with the bottle in his mouth. Usually he is not hungry but just wants to suck. He associates the sucking habit with sleep. That is whenever he is sleeping, he wants a bottle or he wants to suck. This sucking could be also for the need of comfort and security. The moment you remove the bottle from his or her mouth, he starts crying. So there is a prolonged and frequent exposure of the teeth to the milk. Another example of prolonged exposure is in toddlers. Toddlers usually put the bottle in their mouth and play around the room. That is, they are playing around the room with the bottle in his mouth. So you can imagine the amount of exposure the teeth is having to the milk. An example of frequent feeding is the nighttime feeding pattern. Babies are usually fed every two to three hours. However, after say around eight months, this night feeding pattern should decrease. Feeding every 2-3 to three hours exposes the teeth to milk or any other liquid. Again, he would be prone to baby bottle decay. Children who are given pacifiers dipped in maybe sugary syrups or honey may also get affected. The signs of baby bottle decay. Baby bottle decay can affect all the teeth. However, the early signs are seen in the upper front teeth or the upper central incisors. For this, you can just raise the lip of your kid upwards and observe for the signs over the teeth. Initially, white chalky spots appear on the teeth near the gum line. As the decay progresses, brown spots may appear which are usually mistaken by many parents as stains. As the decay worsens, the child may have pain, swelling and he or she may become cranky and avoid eating. He may turn into a fussy eater. baby bottle decay treated. The treatment depends upon the extent of the cavity or the decay. If the decay is in just the superficial layers of the tooth, then filling the cavity with the dental material would suffice. 
However, if the decay is deeper and has reached the innermost layers of the tooth, that is the pulp which contains the nerves, then a pulpotomy or a root canal treatment is mandatory. bottle decay. First and foremost, do not put your baby to sleep with a bottle in his mouth. If at all you have to give a bottle, then give a water-filled bottle. A water-filled bottle is much much better than a milk-filled bottle. These changes are going to be tough. It will take a long time, probably a couple of weeks. The tip here is to gradually dilute the milk with water. Slowly and slowly, gradually and gradually, shift from milk to water. This will prevent baby bottle decay. Also after every feed, wipe the gums with clean soft muslin cloth. This wiping of the gums should start as soon as the baby is born. This will prevent baby bottle decay and will also set a good oral hygiene practice. Children should be weaned from a bottle by the time he is one year old. Encourage the child to drink from a cup. Reduce the consumption of sugar in between meals. Start brushing his or her teeth as soon as the first tooth erupts. Visit the dentist by the child's first birthday and continue with regular checkups thereafter every six months. Follow these prevention tips and keep your kids teeth healthy and strong. If you like our video then please do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and relatives. Do subscribe to see for many such videos. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get to know of any updates. Thank you and keep smiling.